Hi, I have in front of me here a product called a two-way outdoor splitter and it's saddle and clamp type and what that means is that um, this here is a saddle and clamp and you just use a screwdriver to, um, to use this uh, to attach the cables to it, okay? Now, um, just when would you use this? Well, I'll just show you behind me here we have a typical example of a UHF aerial, okay? Now this would be used both for um, in certain areas for analog signal, but with all of the new digital signals, what we'll be doing is uh, we'll run a cable from here, and normally we'll say we run it down and run it to a single television, or if we're running it to multiple televisions, what we will do is we'll run it into a splitter, and I'll just show you in front of us here the options we have for splitters, okay? Normally we'll say we have houses that are pre-wired pre with cables, okay? So what we would have in front of us here is, we will say we'd have a two-way splitter here, so a cable runs in with an F-type connector on it, it's split and runs to two separate rooms. Um, now this is a power passing, which would be used with, say, with a mass amplifier and a power unit, or a passive, which is a cheaper one, which can um, be used uh, uh, just, you know, in, in a, in a non-powered situation, okay? Um, so having the splitters indoors and in the attic is the most common way of doing it, and it's also the cheapest uh, way of doing it. But we can, ha can have a situation where we're trying to um, split the signal from the TV aerial to a number of rooms that maybe aren't pre-wired, so it doesn't make sense to run it into the attic and then run back out. The neatest and the quickest and the most efficient way to do it is simply to get a splitter, and um, I'll just show you this splitter here, if we got it, and we mounted it underneath the um, the TV aerial here, what we would do is we would run the cable from the aerial down into the center point and then we can split it to two separate televisions and because of this design here this cable the cover will slip down to make it watertight and because the cable is going down and then back up the water won't be able to follow the cable inside here so we won't have problems with shorts and things like that. Now the alternative, um, just coming back to our worktop here, the alternative uh, to using this um, type of saddle and clamp splitter is to use these um, F-type outdoor splitters, okay? Now, um, these here are preferable in a, a number of ways, but the big advantage of the saddle and clamp ones is they work just as good and they're cheaper, okay? Uh, but uh, uh, these ones here have power pass on them, so once again, they can be used in a passive type situation where we have um, with just an aerial with no um, powering on it, uh, but if we're using it in conjunction with a power unit and a mass and amplifier, which may be necessary in poor reception areas, these power passing ones, uh, this power passing option here becomes important, okay? So, so in a very simple situation, this is a very good solution. So I'm just quickly going to show you how to uh, we would split this. We're going to imagine here that this a cable is running directly from this aerial, and the end of the cable then has been uh, pared down. So I have a set of snips here. I've already pared down the outside of the cable, and the copper outer um, uh, earth wiring here, I've wrapped into a single uh, tight ball like this, or a length like this. What I do is I simply come along, and I cut off the excess um, white here, and I simply twist it, and a certain amount is exposed. And what I can do here now is, it's probably a little bit long at that, what I'll do is, to come along and I get this copper and I, uh, the, and I wrap it around the edge like that and what I do then is I'm simply going to get my screwdriver I'm going to loosen off this nuts so this is the cable coming from the aerial so it'll be fed into the center what we do then is we simply shove it through this hole on the bottom which is watertight up to this point so we punch through that light rubber hole push it in there like this. What we're making sure is that the core wire here is being firmly locked into position here, which we can do here. Okay, so you can see that core wire there. And then the earth wire on the outside, we simply lock this into situation like here. So we lock it left and right. And then we can actually pull the cable at the bottom, see it's locked in position. And what we can do is we can just repeat the process then with cables running from the other two televisions that we want to run it to. So we can run a cable in here and here. So, you know, you know if it's, a, if it's essential to, uh, or if you need to mount a split or it's more efficient to mount a split outside and you're not using power units, things like this, then this is a great, great solution. Um, in terms of it works extremely well, it's a low cost option, and we just have it on the on, as part of the range. We also, do, of course, stock the full range of two, four, six, uh, or two, three, four, um, 
six and eight way indoor spitters, both passive and power passing, and also a range of um, F-type low loss um, F connectors for splitting outdoors as well. But this is an important product in the range, definitely um, popular with um, people who just want to keep costs to a minimum, but want to get good results. Okay, so that's it beginning to end, an overview of the saddle and clamp type uh, outdoor two-way splitter.